The cattle industry is filled with people who are just following their passions. And for 12-year-old Ellen, that's certified Angus beef. Well, our family has a farm and I came last year and I actually came to this booth and I really liked it and so I was excited to come back to see them. Ellen Rawson, a young, inspired uh, little uh, soon-to-be chef, was sitting in our audience uh, last year and every time I said, is anybody got any questions, this little hand raised up and uh, she had the best questions in the house. I was like their biggest fan and I continued to come back. so. He asked to take a picture of me and asked if he could put it on his Instagram, and I said he could. So then I started to follow him, and that's where we just became really good friends. When she texted me this time and she said, Chef, are you going to be at the uh, Angus convention this year? And I texted her back and said, yeah, you're going to be there? And she said, yep. And sure enough, the other day she was sitting out front over here waiting. But today I got to hand out samples. That was a pretty big honor for me, I guess. Really? great to see uh, a seventh grader with uh, so much uh, uh, passion and uh, eagerness to learn and uh, learn how to cook. When I get older, um, I definitely want to go to culinary school and hopefully like open up a steakhouse at my farm and that would be really fun. I definitely want to come back next year. Our theme for Angus Convention this year is connections and how the beef cattle industry connects us all across the chain. At Angus University this year, sponsored by Merck Animal Health, our keynote speaker Ed Hindi discusses how he took a successful restaurant business by using the certified Angus beef brand as the focal point to drive quality with consumers. Let's take a closer look. In the restaurant business, taking a brand like certified Angus beef and sticking with it for 34 years is work, but it's worth it, and it pays off. What we don't understand in the branding business is how many messages that people are bombarded with every day. To have a customer remember what we do and choose us takes years and years and years of excellence to prove to them that we are selling something that they can depend on and they will come back and do it again and again. We built our business around certified Angus beef. We serve only certified Angus beef and we have for 34 years. And we have turned into the number one independent restaurant in Texas by sales, by volume. So it's working. The reason to come to talk to the American Angus Association is simple. We have got to have a relationship, a partnership, from restaurants and retails all the way back to the food chain to the cow-calf operation and even to the seed stock folks so they can see that the product that they're producing, there's a demand for it, and there is a combined effort to build that brand all the way through to the restaurant. Because if we don't have that kind of relationship, it takes two years from the time the bull and cow gets together in the pasture until I get a T-bone out of the deal. That's a long pipeline of supply, and I want to make sure that they know that we're going to be there, that demand is going to be there, and that demand is growing. The certified Angus beef sales are 10% increase this year over last year and have been for the last couple of years. That means we've got to have 10% more cattle. We've got to have 10% more production, and that's just going this year to next year. Where are we going to be five years from now? We have got to paint that picture for these producers so they'll know that Angus is going to be a long-term product and a long-term profitable relationship for them. And we're just, we're just getting started. 